All right, this video is about the launch of a new free over-the-air sports network in a major U.S. TV market. Now, even if you don't live in this particular TV market, watch the whole video because the information I'm going to share will eventually affect almost every other over-the-air TV market across the U.S. Sports fans in the Chicago area who use a TV antenna should run a channel rescan as a new regional sports network has launched in your area. CHSN, the Chicago Sports Network, is a new over-the-air regional sports network that is replacing NBC Sports Chicago. CHSN launched on the 1st of October and will feature over 300 games, including the Blackhawks, Bulls, and the White Sox, as well as other local sports teams, including college and high school sports, as well as local sports TV programs that feature news, analysis, and interviews. This new over-the-air channel was created when the Blackhawks, Bulls, and White Sox TV rights expired with NBC Sports Chicago on the 1st of October, and it's a new joint venture from the owners of those teams. CHSN is available on paid satellite and streaming services, including DirecTV, DirecTV Stream, Astound Broadband, and Uverse TV, but most exciting is that it's available free over the air with a TV antenna in the following markets. Chicago can pick it up on WJYS channels 62.2 and 62.3, Rockford, Illinois, WSLN 19.3 and 19.4, and South Bend, Indiana, WNDU 16.2 and 16.4. It will be available soon in other markets, including Milwaukee, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Des Moines, Iowa, uh, and the list goes on from there. Now, in some areas, be aware that blackout programming will air where there are conflicting sports coverage markets. An example is the White Sox games will not be aired in Milwaukee, so there's no conflict with the Brewers coverage in that market. Instead, alternate programming would air on CHSN at that time. For over-the-air TV viewers that are having trouble tuning in CHSN, they even have a support phone line that is open from 9 a.m. to midnight central time every day, so you can call for assistance. Their website also offers tips to make sure you're getting the best possible TV reception with your TV antenna. And as I said, if you live in the Chicagoland area, run a rescan on your TV to make sure you are receiving CHSN with your antenna. Now, the launch of CHSN seems to be part of a larger trend that is bringing pro sports back to over-the-air television. There are many teams across the NHL, NBA, as well as the MLB, not to mention other pro sports leagues like the WNBA and the National Women's Soccer League and even Pickleball that have inked distribution deals with local TV stations to broadcast sports games free over the air receivable with a TV antenna. CHSN broadcasts off of the Willis Tower so more than likely if you're in the Chicago area your antenna is probably pointed in the right direction already. If you're using an indoor antenna, try placing it near a window if you're having trouble picking this channel up. Now, something else to be aware of is that CHSN uses MPEG-4 video codec for its picture. This is a more advanced video compression than MPEG-2, which is used for most over-the-air TV channels. It allows the broadcaster to squeeze an HD picture onto the available channel bandwidth and still have room for other digital sub-channels on that main carrier channel. MPEG-4 video should not be a problem for most newer TVs made around 2015 and later, but if you run into a situation where you're tuned to a certain channel and you're only getting sound but no picture, then that means your TV is probably older and is only capable of decoding MPEG-2 video. Now, despite what you may have heard, this has nothing to do with encrypting TV signals or DRM. It simply has to do with the type of video compression method you used for a particular TV channel. Older HD TVs made before around 2015 may only be able to decode MPEG-2 video, which is the video compression all major networks like NBC, CBS, Fox, PBS, and ABC are required to use to make them as accessible as possible. 
mainly for people using older televisions. Now, supplementary networks such as CHSN can use more advanced codecs that can make better use of the available TV frequency bandwidth. MPEG-4 uses far less bandwidth while still maintaining an HD picture and will be decodable by just about any TV made after around 2015 or 2016. But the only way to know for sure is to check the specifications in your TV's manual. Once again, if your TV was purchased after around 2015 or 2016, it's most likely capable of decoding MPEG-4 video. But again, the only way to know for sure is to either check the specs in the manual or tune to an MPEG-4 channel in your area and find out whether the video displays on the TV or if you're only getting audio and a dark screen and that will tell you whether the TV is capable of decoding MPEG-4. There's no real definitive answer to say all TVs made after a certain year will decode MPEG-4 video. The only certain way is to check the manual or try tuning an MPEG-4 station in to see if you're getting a picture or not. So if you're in that situation, don't adjust your antenna because it could simply be the TV you're trying to view the channel on. My advice would be to check another TV that's connected to your antenna, tune it to the same channel you're having trouble with on the first TV. If you're getting picture and sound on that second TV, then that tells you that the TV in question can only decode MPEG-2, but not MPEG-4 video. Now, instead of running out and buying a whole new TV set, a cheaper option would be to buy a digital converter box, also known as a DTV box, Almost all digital TV boxes nowadays will decode MPEG-4 video and you'll simply connect that to your original TV with an HDMI cable and the digital TV box will now be the tuner you use on that older television and that will decode all your channels including MPEG-4. If you're looking for a digital converter box to connect an older TV to so you can decode MPEG-4 video, then consider checking out the MediaSonic Homeworks digital TV box. There's an affiliate link in the description for that. Also, if you're wondering if any TV stations use MPEG-4 in your TV market, rabbitears.info has compiled a list of channels using MPEG-4 video codec. You can find that link in the description. You'll also note that not all those channels are necessarily broadcasting in HD though. Check out the video description for more information about CHSN and stay tuned to my channel for more updates.